the liver, uh, there are ducts, bile ducts. There are small bile ducts that go throughout the liver and it carries bile, goes out then to the gallbladder. Also, there are ducts and they meet on top and they form this common bile duct. Then they pass through the pancreas a little bit and then proceed to the small intestine where they carry bile. So that's the hepatobiliary system. So bile duct cancers can be, can develop or can grow anywhere in that area. Symptoms are on and off. They're very general symptoms like abdominal pain, which could be anything. So I think the main thing that we should do here is to have an increased awareness of the risk factors. In any type of cancer, early diagnosis is the key, but most especially for this cancer because the most effective um, treatment is surgery, but most of the time it's too late. So what do we do? Chemotherapy or radiation, but what we have right now does not really work. That's why in some statistics show that one in five patients only have a survival rate in five years. That's really low. We just need more research. And um, with this research, we can probably hopefully find better chemotherapeutic agents that will work, other treatment modalities that will be more effective and increase survival in this type of cancer.